Well, the key issue for whoever gets the keys to number 10, as Elliot was just saying, is the UK economy. And to discuss that with me in more detail, I'm joined by Roger Bootle, the Managing Director of Capital e Economics. Thank you very much indeed for coming in this morning. We, we've been saying this for ages, the deficit is key. Of course, the Conservative Party and the Liberal Democrats have got fairly different views over the deficit in terms of when those cuts should begin. Um, you're somebody who thinks that uh, David Cameron's right that the cut should start straight away. Are you worried that the Liberal Democrats would water that down? Well, I'm not actually very worried because although, although there are differences, actually, I think they're fairly minor compared to the areas of agreement. In fact, if you look at all three parties, they've got a very similar approach to the deficit. It's true that the Conservatives want to act sooner and there's this great fuss about the £6 billion pounds worth of cuts. It's not but very much it's in the grand scheme much, of no, things, it is, is it? You're talking about a deficit of about £170 billion, yeah. so £6 billion, frankly, is neither here nor there. You'd think Think there was scope to do a deal over that. Mm. It doesn't look like that is going to be the major no. stumbling block. The problem is, are, are you, do you think that we may see a situation where the proportional representation issue prevents a deal being done? Well, I think that is the big stumbling block, plus quite what the details are behind how you're going to cut the deficit. All, all parties have subscribed to the general thrust and numbers, but they haven't actually filled in the details. Indeed. And here's, of course, a big difference between cutting health, cutting defence, raising taxes. Taxes. It's those things that have to be hammered out. Yes, the Liberal Democrats said that they'd done that more than anybody else, but actually the Institute of Fiscal uh, Studies said that really nobody right. had come down exactly. and actually said how they were going yep. to do it. It's going to be unpopular whoever does it. Mervyn King suggested that it might be so unpopular mm. that whoever was in power um, wouldn't get in again for a generation, I think he said. Mm. You disagree with that, don't you? Well, I do. I, it may work out that way, but I don't think it has to work out that way. I mean, for a start, in the 1950s, we had a Conservative government which went on for 13 years. During that period, the debt ratio fell dramatically, and in fact, it was a period of fantastic prosperity. Mm. I think the key here is the economy. If we get the world economy doing pretty well, and we manage our, manage our own affairs well, then I think we can bring the deficit down without inflicting really very great pain. Roger Booth, thank you very much indeed for joining us.